Republican meltdown over Chastin Buttigieg gay teens pledge of allegiance to the pride flag. The conservative snowflakes are losing their minds. What has upset their delicate sensitivities this time? It's footage from Amazon's Mayor Pete documentary that came out last year. In the clip, Chastin Buttigieg leads a group of LGBTQ plus teens at a gay camp and a pledge to a rainbow flag. The pledge, which is a parody of the Pledge of Allegiance of the United States, calls for acceptance and inclusion. Conservative blogger and self-described theocratic fascist Matt Walsh apparently just found out about this scene, and he and the log cabin Republicans have been raging about it on Twitter, with followers using the, phrase, the tired phrase, groomer, when referring to Chastin. Perhaps many of them need to learn that statistically, most ped pedophiles are heterosexuals. Watch this. All right, I pledge my heart. I pledge my heart. To the rainbow. To the rainbow. Of the not so typical gay camp. Of the not so typical gay camp. One camp. One camp. Full of pride. Full of pride. Indivisible. Indivisible. With affirmation and equal rights for all. With affirmation and equal rights for all. Watch your heads. Well, let me tell you, I think that is an awesome pledge, and I think that the, the country's Pledge of Allegiance should have things in there about acceptance instead of equal rights for y'all and not all. Ooh. You know, Matt Walsh, the Log Cabin Republicans, you have a, a common denominator, old white men. And I just remind you, because I'm in that camp right along with you, but the difference between me and you, Matt, is I try to pay attention. This documentary has been out for eight months. <laughs> Boy, you're coming to the game way, way late, which is a reflection of being an old white man. Mm -hmm. oh. No, I just love that, of course, we pointed out here that statistically, most pedophiles are heterosexual. I hate the whole term of groom, groomers right. being thrown on our community. Like, no, like maybe groomers, but not, <laughs> you know, just it's ridiculous. Or all groomers. Exactly. Mm. But then just to add the whole thing with the flag A, very cute. I love it. Also, kids, if you were watching, you also know you technically don't have to stand up during the stage of, of allegiance and actually like say, uh, da, da, da. you don't have to do that in schools. It is something that is forced on children. Right. Wouldn't that be indoctrinization? It is. Could be. Like that? I'm just saying. I also think um, the log cabin Republicans, they might not have good Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why I didn't get to watch the Amazon special. But um, this story about inclusion and uplifting children at a gay camp could not be one a more of a heartwarming story <laughs> that we need more of. It's so exactly. actually the whole point. Oh. I mean, we're embracing our children, yes. which is what you talk about, Governor DeSantis. You just don't until... want to embrace our children. Uh, yes. Yeah, oh. So this is for the children yes exactly. it's for the children we love but it probably the, the it's their argument is probably not for the children it's probably for something oh right to get reelected yeah uh -huh. there anything that mentions equality yeah. makes republicans nervous and tucker carlson yeah. cry yeah. right lgbtq plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole we have enough enemies at fox news Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus 